So I've just looked in one of the barns and I found a whole bunch of these really old jars. They have a glass part like this and a seal. Um, they're really dirty, but I might be able to clean them up and use them. I also found these kind of demijohn type things. I don't know what they were for originally, but if I want to make some cider or something with the apples, maybe I can use these. They're quite small, but I'll give them a clean as well. So these jars would have been used probably by my grandma or great grandma to make preserves. So the way they work is, like the modern ones, you put your preserve inside with the ring, you put the glass on, and then you put the metal ring on while you process them in a water bath. And then afterwards you can remove it, and this part should have made a seal, and then you store it just like this. So this is instead of the metal um, lids you get nowadays on modern ones. The thing is, I don't think these rubber gaskets are any good anymore, so I don't think I could use them safely for preserves. Um, but I will clean up these metal rings, I think, with the angle grinder to take off the rust, and then I'll wash the glass and see what I can use them for. We had a lot of windy weather this week. It's been very hot for a long time with little rain and this week we had some windy storms. I was mainly working in the barn, um, carrying on with pointing to repair the brickwork on the interior walls. I also filled some of the holes with pieces of brick.
my winter vegetables are doing okay. And I finally harvested some fruit from the strawberry plants. After I got the hang of the pointing, it was quite enjoyable. It's quite slow work and it takes a lot of concentration, so it's quite tiring. I'm beginning to notice that summer is changing to autumn. The oak trees already have acorns on them and one of the trees down the lane has been dropping green acorns all over the floor.
so I'm piercing holes in these now while they're green because it will be easier to make the hole and then if I leave them on this string to dry they should dry with a hole through and then when later I will be able to stitch them through the hole We'll see, it's just an experiment. I'm going to make two holes in each acorn cup so that I can stitch through and back when I want to sew them onto something. I'm going away this week to visit a few places so my work in the barn and the garden will have to be on hold for a little while. And I expect that when I get back it will be time to harvest apples and there will be a lot to do in the orchard.